marketplace in Denver. So, yeah, so I'm really interested in this portion of the conversation because this seems to be the evolution of your business model. It looks like you're really you're really attracted to the, the food hall concept. Yeah, it's great, man. You can play and pay employees. Uh, they're making twenty you know twenty some bucks an hour. So what to, was th- to work in a kitchen, which is not. What was your comprehension of a food hall before he approached you? Was it on uh, your radar? I didn't really know anything about food halls. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't really know. You know. So, so what have you here. learned? Teach us. Give us something. Give, <laughs> like, what are the pros? What are the cons? Uh, like, man, it's just cool. The sense of community. All I like. I, uh, the energy. The sense of community. Uh, learning. I mean, it's what a learning experience. Like you know, we're in here with eight awesome chefs, right? Yeah. And nine awesome chefs in here. Yeah. You know, so cool. And then uh, just sense of community. Um, it's cool to uh, get people together uh, and creative thinking. And uh, the food halls are great. It takes a lot of stress off. You just got to worry about your little stall. So you operations. So operations So you're saying easy. logistically uh, it is fewer moving parts. You're responsible for less. What exactly are you responsible for? Well, the uh, they're, they're all different. But, you know, like uh, a lot of the time it's like you bring your staff, your food, your idea. Figure it out. Make it happen. Um, I, uh, I love it that my employees, I get to pay them a wage. A nice livable wage, and then there's like five to seven dollars an hour in tips on top of it so for each one of them. So they're you, twenty some bucks an hour to a cook. What are you doing awesome. to make sure that they're getting those tips? Like what things? That's have you done their to, job to make sure they get those. Well, tips. is there technology that you're implementing? Is there things that you're doing with the POS? Is there built-in options? No, to tip it's or anything like it's that? it's all just kind of this, your typical, you know, tip or don't tip. Uh, some of them have you know a percent tip on them. Uh, and uh, it's just cool instead of that tip just going to the front of the house that it gets shared across the board from the counter help to the kitchen help uh, to me that's that is a forward thinking new re- I mean how many cooks make 20 some bucks an hour not many yeah <laughs> so yeah so some of the, b- the benefits I'm pulling are the fact that it's it's more streamlined as far as uh, operationals there's less things you're responsible for you're not it's, you're paying rent essentially right it's kind of yeah, like yeah. having a, a condo like you, you pay yeah. the fees yeah, exactly. and it gets taken care of like HOA takes care less of less responsibilities yeah um, what about like the Operationally, like, what do the numbers look like? I mean, what are the prime costs? Like, is it does it change because you have so many fewer? No, is I mean not really. By the time you get through, you know, you you know your rent, what would you would usually pay in rent, dishwashers and marketing and chemicals and all that stuff, it's about the same. Okay, but then you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, and then what I really love about it, there people love to come to these places. You yeah. know, you. The, the millennials love them. Uh, it's a great spot for you can bring ten people. Everybody can get what they want. Everything's usually under fifteen bucks. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's a great place for families and friends and groups of people. And, I mean, some beautiful spaces too. I mean, the space we're sitting in yeah, right now. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Definitely one of the prettiest. Uh, I'll try to uh, get. I'll get some photo before we we, yeah. we, uh, we move on. Uh, anything that you didn't consider that kind of surprised you when it came to the food halls? Uh, Man, I just didn't know how busy a little stall like that could be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to do a $6,000 a day out of 300 square feet is insane. Yeah. You know, absolutely insane. And we've done it a bunch of times. Uh, you know, and it just it really comes back to that sense of community, all these awesome chefs and forward-thinking people and being in great spaces. And it's just